for a uh, uh, quarter size hail and 60 mile per hour winds. And then we do have a warning in uh, Texas, Great uh, London, uh, and Queen City and Atlanta in Texas. A little bit of rotation with this one, not much. Um, main thing is going to be quarter size hail and 60 mile per hour winds. We also have a severe thunderstorm warning in North Carolina right now, which is kind of like the last dying breath of our uh, big time, uh, you know, wind storm that's been working across the U.S. It's about to hit Goldsboro and Fremont. Uh, get ready for maybe some 60 mile per hour winds over there. Sweet. We continue to see considerable severe thunderstorm warnings being issued with these uh, supercells that are kind of uh, skirting down portions of Missouri down towards uh, Columbia and Mexico, Missouri over the next couple of hours get ready for some ping pong golf ball size hail and maybe, maybe uh, some uh, strong damaging winds as well. So uh, we are now approaching our eighth hour, our eighth hour of consecutive uh, coverage here, and things are a new tornado not calm, issue, but they are calming down compared to what we had earlier. Um, so that's good news. Um, Hornersville, Steele, Holland, Cooter, and Blytheville, you're now under a tornado warning. Um, as the storm is moving through Cardwell right now, still rotating and capable of producing the tornado as it goes towards Tennessee. Um, let's put the uh, Dyersburg, Tennessee uh, camera in one of the ships. Uh, actually, yeah, in, in Radar Omega, Chandra, uh, put the Dyersburg camera in four. Uh, put the um, Truman camera in Arkansas in uh, five, and then either one of the Memphis cameras in six. Go ahead, Elijah. Hey, Brian. So we have another update from uh, the area that was hit by the big tornado, the tornado emergency. So, Caldwell County Judge Executive uh, Kota Young, which is an official uh, for the uh, county, uh, has stated that it's too early to speculate on the day. So, I need to the to my So, there is a chance that the tornado gets along at the real area, and as you said, miss some of the areas. So, it may have actually missed like, all the uh, highly populated areas. That's what it slowly and surely looking like. Uh, and hopefully that trend continues. We're not blindsided and it's a fact that can, uh, you know, do devastating support uh, reports today tomorrow morning. But um, without a doubt, a, a huge, nasty tornado uh, ripped three portions of Kentucky, uh, uh, you know, just a couple hours ago. But it looks like we might have looked out this time. And instead of like with the Mayfield tornado, it was a very similar situation where it was almost like just connecting town to town, like it was hitting, you know, Mayfield, it was Dawson Springs, it was Brandon, it's like, you know, it was per not purposefully, but it was purpose going, to, you know, from town to town. This one narrowly missed a lot of towns, and, and, and it seems like maybe we've got mostly tree damage right now. Certainly there's some people who have lost their homes, and, you know,